Take Me Home Country Rose, you know, acoustical, legendary campfire song. Did a uh, little instrumental version a long time ago on this song, but go show it, how to play it. Um, let's do it without the capo. Come on, boys and girls. It's, uh, let's get, it's an easy bar chord. It's just the F sharp minor that we need, right? That's it. Then I'm going to spice it up a little bit lighter, but um, with some other ones. But we have the A. For all those people wondering about a strumming pattern, there it is. Just alternating on the bass and then the, the other string. This first couple lines there. Um, be a D chord. It's gonna be a G as well. Nice little bridge. Um, so you know we got the uh, A, the F sharp minor. The D and the A kind of come quickly. They just share a measure, right? Uh, repeats that same sequence, and then the chorus. It's A to E, F sharp minor, D, A to E, D to A. Another verse, another chorus, and there comes the middle eight little bridge. Let's kind of do like this little walk here. So we're going to F sharp minor. Kind of lose that strumming pen for a little bit, right? I hear a voice. I'm born now That's where I get a little, uh, a little spicy there, right? So back to the, uh, the top of that bridge part. Start on the F sharp minor. I hear a voice in the Driving down the road, if I want to spice it up with me, we're on the F sharp minor. Just shifting up to the G bard. To a D bard. To an A bard. To an E bard. To an E7 with his just your pinky on the high E string, right? You already got your bar chord. This is so simple to make a seven chord. Just add your pinky on the high E string on the fret next to your ring finger. Stop playing and wait for him to come back. All right. That's the chorus. We do the chorus twice, and they have this little outro, which is this E to A. It's uh, simple and one of those songs you just gotta learn, right? 